He's the one looking like an idiot, being made fun of by these poor brothers. You know, having his hat stolen, all this. Absolutely. Let's, let's Absolutely. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Yes, sir. Get the paperwork for this bar. Get, get Al Hammond. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, I don't need Al Hammond. Yeah. Let me call Al Hammond. I'm my let's own boss. I'm my own Two boss. One night. I got you. Let's not blow this out of proportion. Hey, uh, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy back again with another video just reacting to how Jake Paul went and mugged off Floyd Mayweather and nicked his hat. Um, in the aftermath of what was the terrible press conference, a really subdued atmosphere between Mayweather and Logan, who he scheduled the fight. Roll the intro. Um, I haven't done a reaction video in a, a good a, a good while, so we back, baby. See you in a sec. Peace. Have the two of them here standing face to face and Mayweather is not as short compared to Logan as I thought he would be but yeah Logan is a big lad and the, the reach is going to be the problem for Mayweather um, I'm not trying to predict who wins Logan could do it um, we don't know what Mayweather's got after so many years out the game we'll see um, of course I, I mean, I grew up seeing Mayweather win loads of fights, um, but I'm a YouTuber and Logan Paul's about my age, so big up the, the younger guy trying to take out the older guy, but like, it's YouTube versus boxing is what it is, so you've got the old school and the new school, and then the people on the fence, like me, kind of, like, I respect both of them, well, don't really respect a guy who beats his wife, to be honest, um, in Mayweather's case, but... We'll leave that discussion for another time. Um, but he did bring it up, Logan, didn't he? And Mayweather did bring up Japan. It's quite funny, really. But Logan is so past that. It's a bit too calm. No, what is this rubbish? Now, uh, Mayweather looking like a four year old in an outfit. Logan looking a bit more like a fisherman. This mic. We ain't got a mic. Oh, and Jake's there too. Oh. Oh no. He went there, he went there with the hairline. The only thing that's fake on this stage is Floyd's fucking hairline. Man's been to Turkey to get that hairline sorted. That's where they, that where they do hair implants. Weak! As far as I know. Oh. They're too polite, come on. I think you've been off more than you can Your clothes are big on you. Ah, uh, now he's got a mic. Mic number two. So, everybody's entitled to feel how they want to feel. Just remember this. Remember what? Remember this. June 6th, tune in. Yeah, we know that. We're going to have fun. I don't have to talk about what I'm going to do. I don't have to talk about what I'm going to do. The world knows what I can do. But I think in this year, 20, 25 years, Olympics, been there, the best countries, if it's Cuba, I beat them, if it's Mexico, I beat them, and it sucks that a YouTuber's going to take all and the And guess what, I fight real fighting. I'm fighting. talking Pokemon collecting, podcasting, hosting. When he puts it that way, it sounds crazy. To beat the greatest crazy. fighter of all time. I fight real fighters. Who wants to fight both of them the same night? The same night. Imagine that. <laughs> He's a granddad as well. Very, very old. You're a grandpa. Very wise. The kids have kids. My kids have kids. Love my kids. Oh. Love my kids. And guess what? I'm going to treat you just like you one of my kids. Fucked up. Slightly. I'm going to tighten your ass 
Yeah, Logan's right there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's got to beat him like he beats his grandkids. Or like you beat your wife, yeah? Oh, Jesus. Eight bodyguards. The one and the same group that battered Jake Paul. All because he stole that hat. Oh, watch Jake. Watch Jake in this bit. That he goes, unties his laces. Am I getting off his Air Force One? Oh my god. No, adverts. No, please. Oh god. Without YouTube, without the computer, I'm rich. I'm wealthy. Y'all need YouTube. I don't. <laughs> Y'all need hey, social media. Y'all hey, hey. need social media, I don't. And yeah, I was the one that flew in here on a chopper. What do you mean, they need social media, you don't? Well, he's talking about, like, technology, right? So without a TV, we couldn't see you fight. So what are you trying to say? Like, oh, this guy is... You know what, guys? Mayweather is out of touch with society that me and you live in. I don't know where he's living, but he's not living in the current moment because he is out of touch. You know, he used to be the Joker, the one that would wind all the other boxers up, you know, and get in the ring and then prove everyone, prove to everyone how good he was and prove what everything he said. But now he's just a shadow of his former self. Like, he's the one looking like an idiot, being made fun of by these poor brothers. You know, having his hat stolen, all this. Uh, you know, Joe Weller, that's where it started. All those years ago, KSI calling out Jake and Logan, any of the pools. He didn't care. And here we are now with all these boxing fights. Jake's like the one pe people love to hate, you know, regardless of what he does. So when there's an allegation of him being a, you know, all these sexual assault charges, um, you know, against him, people aren't surprised because... They know he's a, he's a scumbag anyway, in some people's eyes anyway. Um, so, absolutely, so let's, let's absolutely, let's do it. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Yes, sir. Get the pet work for this bum. Get, get Al Hannon. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need Al Hannon. Yeah, let me call Al Hannon. I'm my own yeah, boy. Yeah, I'm my own boy. One night, got your hat. Got your hat. Got your hat. Oh my. Oh my days. That is mental. They just all jumped on him. And anyway, guys, while I'm here, I've got a piece from a video clip that is from True Geordie's latest video talking about this whole fight situation. And his take on it is really good. Uh, someone went to the, Turkey, didn't they? It's the hair replacement Do you know thing. What I mean? He doesn't. This is why he's a bit triggered, is because your hair looks shit. I always. I don't know if it, the beard, the I actually think, does look good. Advert right in the middle. Thank you. That pisses me off. That's what I Considering hate it's about a fake, YouTube. absolutely. I think it's very matte. Yeah, I mean, where do they take those hairs from is the worry. Do you know what I mean? It's just a fucking like hat, man. You can't let someone violate you like that, though, can you? Violate? Yeah. He, he took a hat. Yeah, I know, but... If someone a... runs away with my hat, I'm going to be like... It's the precious hat, though. The no, but, like... The precious hat of a grandma. Am I... Am I... I it's think... a fucking hat. Everyone's think... going on, like, was... he's, he's stolen a fucking jewel. Like, this is not the diamond on the Titanic. I wouldn't be happy if someone stole my hat. I'd be like, oh, give it back. I wouldn't, like, send eight bodyguards to beat them up. Not that I have eight bodyguards. It'd be all right to have eight bodyguards, you know? I mean, Mayweather, I think about it. Like, he's a boxer, right? But he's not a tough guy in real life. He walks around with eight huge men as self-defense. Floyd shout shouting, fuck him up. Yeah. Fuck him up. Mm -hmm. We're not in prison, bro. Not anymore anyway, right, Floyd? <laughs> Uh, all right, I know we're in the fight business here, and this is what this is all about. But you're not in a ring. You can't. You this. You just can't just car carry on like that. No. You're in a prison in the past, um, but this fight. In a, I mean, Logan could have brought that up, but he, he did mention the wife beating a bit. Um, but yeah, here we are, guys. This is the world we live in, where YouTubers, boxers, UFC 
fighters, whoever it is, is jumping in the ring to fight other people now. I I said I I I've said it in the past. Like, get a couple of news readers in there, get them scrapping. You know, get ITV, BBC or something. You see, they took the beating from eight people. Um, yeah, he's still an idiot. He's still obnoxious. He's grown up a bit. He's matured. Um, and you saw it in that fight, the emotion uh, when he won it. Um, obviously, his bodyguards died recently before that fight. So it was a bit emotional, all this. But yeah, I mean, a lot of people love to hate him. And there's a lot you can hate about him. Um, I respect the fact that he's still doing what he does, regardless of hate or love or whatever. He does not care. And you shouldn't care too much. Obviously, don't go being an idiot being, doing what he's doing. But he is secure in the bag, so what more can he do, really? Um, I'm not saying I'm, I'm supporting him all the way. If he fights KSI, I'm probably going to be Team KSI. Because for the UK, you know, I got to. Um, but, yeah. We'll see what happens on June the 6th, guys. Um, yeah, you'll probably find an illegal way to watch it and stream it. Instead of paying however much ridiculous amount of money they're going to charge to watch that fight and it could be over in two seconds like the Askren fight so and I'll do some more gaming content hopefully and another podcast on the way at some point stay tuned for that but for now take it easy guys peace I learn, you know what I'm saying? I come back stronger. You know, I'm not talking ignorant. You know what I'm saying?